uh, would be fishing poles. Do you have fishing poles? Well, I did, but now I don't. What's next? Uh, next would be a leaf blower. A leaf blower? Correct. Do you have a leaf blower? Yes, ma'am. What else? Um, actually, it was two PlayStations. There was three. There was one PlayStation 3 and two PlayStation 2s. How many PlayStations? Well, I, I, I know that there was some more that were in boxes, and I never took those out, so I guess that's what it is. I only had one that Whatever was connected. Whatever PlayStations are there and in boxes. Correct. What else? Refrigerator. There was a silver refrigerator. I don't have that either, Your Honor. I, I had to sell that too. There was a pool table, eight foot pool table, oak pool table. And I balls. don't have that either. I, I sold it. I, I was left without a job and I had no money. <laughs> and uh, there was no way I could store a pool table in a refrigerator. So what I did, I sold them. And with that do have, money. Do you I, have pictures of the pool table and the refrigerator? And how much you paid for both? Just the pool table, ma'am, not the refrigerator. Okay, I'd like to see a picture of the pool table. And yes, ma'am. When did you purchase it? The table was purchased 2015. I do not have a receipt for that. You don't have a receipt for the pool table. No, ma'am. Do you recall how much it was? Uh, about $1,200. Do you remember what you sold it for? $300. Where are all these things now, Ms. Gutierrez? Um, some, of them, some of them I moved with me to Laredo, and the rest are placed in storage. How much do the storage units cost you? On a monthly basis, it's about $162. How much, Mr. Holden, have you contributed to the storage spaces from February of 2017 Zero. Until now. Zero. I don't see where I would have paid for a storage when I've been to her house to try to retrieve my property. If she put it in storage, do I need to pay she for that? She, yes. Or come and get it. I've tried, <laughs> I've tried a couple of times no, no, to get just, it. Just a second. I want you to tell me when the first time after February of 2017 did you make a demand that you can prove to come and get your property? That I don't have any information on. Why would I leave it there for so long if I couldn't get it back? I don't answer questions, yes, Mr. Holden. That's not my job. I understand. It makes a difference, sir, because she's no longer living in that house. According to what I read, yes, your complaint, she yes, lost the house. Mm -hmm. And when was that? What month was that? Um, it was um, October. Uh, October of 2017. Yes, okay. So I want you to tell me what effort, for the first time, did you make a call, send a demand letter, have a lawyer write a letter for the return of your property after February of 2017. September the 20th, 2017, is when I took this case before Bear County. Just so, a second. So, so you're telling me February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, eight months later, you made a demand for your property? Not the only one. But that's I'm what at, but listen to me. Yes, ma'am. I asked a very specific question. Yes, ma'am. I said, when for the first time did you send a letter, send a text message that you can prove, have a lawyer write a letter, do anything to request your property back? I didn't ask you when you filed a claim for it. Yes, ma'am. That was eight months later. I asked you when for the first time you said, I would like to come and get my property, and you can prove it. Only that I can prove was what I just told you. 